The following is a clip from a video tutorial entitled, An Introduction to AES-67, October 2016. So let's dive right into this topic of discovery. The AES-67 standard did an excellent job of getting very specific about many elements of audio networking. It isn't important that you memorize all of these protocols, but for those who are interested, the word clock that might have been transported on a BNC is handled using Precision Time Protocol version 2. You could also imagine the XLR streams getting connected and running across a network. That portion might be covered using RTP or IGMP version 2. Now all of this is possible if Dante Controller knows about all of the sources and destinations on the network. So how does Dante Controller know that these other devices exist? I didn't tell it. I just took my computer, plugged into the network, launch the program, and the list populates automatically. Well, in Dante and in other network solutions, audio endpoints will advertise themselves. This is a process we call discovery, and Dante uses a discovery method called SAP. Now this is similar to a newspaper boy standing on the corner and yelling, extra, extra, read all about it. Front of house console with a stereo main and mono sub, 48K, 24-bit. Dante Controller would hear that announcement, add it to the list, and now you can get to work patching it. Now, if the device that you're using as a source doesn't have an SAP announcement, Dante Controller will never know about it, it won't show up in the list, and you'll never be able to patch it to an AES-67 enabled Dante device. So this is fairly important. So what does the AES-67 standard say about discovery? Well, it acknowledges four different discovery methods, and SAP is one of them. However, it draws no conclusions on using any of them. So this is a conundrum, and how you interpret this will probably depend on the nature of the network solution you're coming from. If you're Audinate, where discovery is an integral part of your ecosystem philosophy, then you would say the discussion of discovery implies an intent to achieve discovery. However, if manual configuration is the norm on your platform, then you would say no discovery method was required, therefore the only solution is manual configuration. Well, both premises are supported by the specification, but neither conclusion is there. They're both leaps of logic. And thus we have a problem. Some devices support SAP and some don't. But where there's a will, there's a way. In our demo, we used a Windows program called Ravenna to SAP. You can think of it as the glue or the gaff tape just holding these two pieces together. Here's how it works. Ravenna uses a discovery method called Bonjour. This utility will convert existing Bonjour discovery messages from Ravenna devices into SAP discovery messages for Dante Controller, and vice versa. This utility also allows you to manually craft discovery messages and send them as Bonjour or SAP messages. Now you can bridge the gap between any AES-67 devices regardless of which discovery method they support. And, I'll point out, this utility is only getting involved with the discovery message, which is a very small amount of data that gets transmitted maybe once every 30 seconds. Once the audio starts flowing, it goes from one audio device directly to the other. It does not have to flow through this computer, so you don't have to worry about overloading this device as you start patching more streams. So without stealing any more of his thunder, let me turn this over to Andreas, who will give us a tour of the Ravenna to SAP utility. The uh, Ravenna to SAP converter has three main areas where the different announcements can be seen. On the left side, we see all the streams announced through Ravenna Bonjour. On the center part, we do see the uh, SAP announcements originated by the uh, Dante system. And on the right side, we have an area with a local stream announcement. I'll come to that uh, later on. Now on the left side, you can see we have a bunch of streams announced through Ravenna. And if I want to make one of these or multiple of these streams available in the Dante system, I just select the crystal program output uh, and 
translated into the SAP side. And now, at this very moment, the stream app, uh, is actually visible in the uh, Dante controller. Just the same way we can translate streams originating from the uh, Dante side of things into Ravenna announcements so that the uh, Ravenna devices can see uh, the Dante streams. Let's select um, this particular stream coming off the Yamaha console. I translate that into the Bonjour area. And here's our Yamaha stream, which is now visible uh, on the uh, Ravenna side of things. Not all Ravenna devices require this utility. Some Ravenna devices also natively support the SAP protocol. So here's the Crystal program stream, which I created earlier. And as you can see, it's currently up for the uh, Ravenna native advertisement. And if I activate the SAP button, then an SAP announcement will go out in parallel to the uh, Bonjour announcement. So if I apply and I look into my utility again, you see the uh, Crystal PGM stream is being advertised as Ravenna announcement and it's also advertised as an SAP announcement. For devices not supporting Ravenna Discovery or Dante's SAP announcement, the utility offers the option to create an advertisement from manual entry of SDP data. For this example, Kirk handed over an SDP data from his uh, Axia music stream, uh, which I can open up here uh, in an editor. I'll copy this data, go back to my utility, create a, a local stream advertisement from this data. I fill it into this box. As you can see, the stream name is channel 21256. If you're not happy with that and want to give it a name uh, to be better recognized on the other system, here's the S line, which allows you to assign another name to it. Hit OK. And once I start the translation, the stream is showing up on the Dante system as Axia Music Stream. The Ravenna to Subconverter is freeware and it can be downloaded from the Ravenna website at uh, ravenna-network.com. All right, well, thank you, Andreas. Now, as he said, some manufacturers are providing direct support for SAP so that you won't need a utility like Ravenna to SAP. For example, merging ArchWave and DirectOut adopted SAP early, and they're already shipping AES67 firmware with SAP support. In our demonstration video, you also saw Lavo and QSC both supporting SAP directly. Of course, any Dante company that's adding AES67 support will inherently have SAP. Now, this is a list of companies who have products that support AES67 with SAP, and those products are either available today or they will be available by the first quarter of 2017. There are more companies headed this way, but their product roadmaps are a little further out. So to sum this up, SAP announcements are required for an AES67 stream to show up in Dante Controller. For devices that don't support SAP, you can bridge the gap using a utility like Ravenna to SAP. The prior presentation is a clip from a video tutorial entitled An Introduction to AES67, October 2016. It is provided with permission from its copyright holders. To see the full video, go to YouTube and search the video title Introduction to AES67, October 2016. Thank you.